Hi, my name is Kyle LaRue and I'm with Tool Lots and today I'm here visiting Kim Hu and we're standing in front of the TF8L CNC lathe. Um, some features I'd like to point out about this machine is it's equipped standard with the 8 inch chuck. Uh, it, they also offer the 10 inch which is optional. Um, this specific model is equipped with the manual tool post change. Um, they do provide the automatic which is optional. This specific model is also a 380 volt. They provide 220, 440, uh, whatever you need, they can meet those demands. Um, also, another nice feature about this is it's equipped with the double V boxway, so this improves the stability of your carriage. Um, so now that we've looked at some of the components inside the, the chuck, uh, let's go ahead and look at the uh, other side of this machine. Okay, so we're standing on the side of the CNC lathe that contains the hydraulic pump. Um, so this hydraulic pump powers the hydraulic chuck for this model. Um, all models aren't equipped with the hydraulic chuck. Uh, this is just an option. Um, so now that we're on the side, we'd also like to take a look at the headstock and talk about some of the casting features and the components of the headstock. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about Kim's Who's headstock and the manufacturing process of the headstock. So once these are casted, they actually are aged for 180 days inside or outside the in the weather elements, and this helps improve the structural integrity of the the headstock. Um, it also goes through a 72-hour testing process uh, where the Temperature fluctuations uh, range from 0 to 22 degrees Celsius. Um, at that 72 hour duration, uh, it operates at a low 80 decibels, so the operation of the machine is, is very low level, low noise. So I'd like to talk about the production or the offerings that Kim Hu provide. Um, if your company provides them with a technical drawing of the part that you would like to manufacture along with the output of production, Kim Hu will actually develop the G-code for the controller as well as provide a recommendation on uh, one of their machines that they manufacture to um, best fit your, your needs of production. Okay, so we're going to begin facing our material. We're going to remove one millimeter from the face. After facing, we're going to begin our rough turning, which is going to be followed by the smooth turning. After our smooth turning, we're going to begin our chamfering. So our smooth turning is complete. So some other functions of the Kim Hu machine, it's also capable of drilling, reaming, and boring as well. Tool lots. Reliable equipment.